Today in our 2013 Dodge Grand Caravan, we'll be installing and taking a look at the current trailer hitch receiver, Class 2, with an inch and a quarter opening, part number C12264. Now this is what your new current hitch will look like on your Grand Caravan. Now as you see the cross tube is tucked nicely here behind our bumper. The only thing that sticks out is the receiver tube, so it allows you easy access to put your accessories into your hitch. You have your chain hold downs right here that are easy access and your half inch pinhole. Now this is a class 2 hitch, so it is rated at 350 pound tongue weight and 3500 pounds of towing capacity. You want to double check your manufacturer specs to see what that is to make sure you go with the lowest number, whether it be the hitch or the vehicle. Now I'll go ahead and give you some measurements to help choosing some accessories for your new hitch. From the center of our hitch pin hole to the edge of the bumper is 5.5 inches, and from the top of the receiver tube to the ground is 11 inches. That'll help you choosing some accessories such as ball mounts, bike racks, or cargo carriers. Now we'll go ahead and show you how the hitch is installed. So we'll go ahead and take our safety strap, just hook it underneath our van here. Just pull it tight, and that'll just help hold our exhaust up when we take our fasteners down. So we'll go ahead and take our spray lubricant, spray our exhaust hanger down. That'll just help us remove it with a large screwdriver or pry bar. Get your pry bar underneath there, just work it back and forth and it'll pop off. Next we'll go here to this bracket and we'll remove the bolt with a 13 millimeter socket. We'll set that aside and then we'll go right here to the back side of our muffler and remove that one. We're just gonna go ahead and bolt it like we did the middle one. Now we'll go ahead and point out the mounting locations for our hitch. Here on the driver's side, you have three locations. On the frame rail, there'll be three bolts here. And we'll go ahead and remove those bolts and we'll, these will actually be the bolts that we use to install our hitch. For these back two, we'll go ahead and use an 18 millimeter socket. And for the front one, we'll use a 15 millimeter socket. Now there is a nut plate in here that's in the frame rail. So we'll go ahead, once we get our hitch in place, We'll line up the nut plate with our holes. Now here on the passenger side, there's two mounting locations. Here, we'll remove this 15 millimeter bolt, and we'll remove this 18 millimeter. Now we'll go ahead and put our hitch into position. Now if you want to get an extra set of hands, that'll make it a little easier, or you can take the passenger side, set it on the exhaust to help support it while you install the driver's side hardware. Now that we have one started on the driver's side, we'll go over and start one here on the passenger side. And now those bolts will hold your hitch in position so you can install the rest of the hardware. Now if needed, go ahead and just take a pry bar or alignment tool, stick it up through there through the weld plate just to move it over to get your bolt in straight. Since there are all three on one weld plate, it does like to shift, so once you get that lined up, you can install your hardware. Now with all our hardware installed hand tie, we'll go ahead and tighten it down and then torque it as specified in the instructions. Now we'll go ahead and go to the passenger side and torque those bolts. Now we can go ahead and reinstall our exhaust. For our middle and forward most hangers, we'll just reinstall the bolts, tighten those back down, and on the rear, we'll reinstall our rubber isolator. And now with our exhaust reinstalled, we can go ahead and take our safety strap down. And that'll do it for the installation of our current trailer hitch receiver, class two, inch and one quarter, Part number C12264 on our 2013 Dodge Grand Caravan.